Hey, good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check. And I've been having a lot of conversations around fear lately, specifically about fear of going back to school. And so I thought about how can we as adults not impose our fears on children, right? They're already worried enough, and we don't need to add to that. So, um, you know, consider this, right? You're going to have kids heading into classrooms for the first time since last spring. In some cases, they're going to kindergarten or first grade, so maybe school is still unfamiliar territory. Perhaps some of your kids are going to a new school with different teachers and friends. So experts say with all of that comes the potential for separation anxiety from parents or maybe even from a single parent or guardian. I've heard from a lot of you who are co-parenting through this whole experience. So how do you help children to manage their fear and separation anxiety while also tempering your own? It's a form of anxiety and anxiety is the fear of the future, the unknown. So to compensate for that discrepancy between what we don't know and what we know, we try to come back to the present moment. So Kema Hangar says, to do that, identify positive ways to soothe yourself. And I want you to make a list. Turn to that list when you feel anxiety coming on because sometimes when you're spiraling out of control, you're kind of going, what, what should I do, what should I do? So here's my list, some examples that soothe me. Take a walk, listen to calming music, stretch, journal, color, take a bath, talk to a friend, or deep breathing. And you guys, deep breathing sounds silly maybe to some of you, but one of the best ways to come into the present moment to shift out of that fight or flight mode, I'd say, is deep breathing. It is really, really good for anxiety. So I'm gonna do one quick deep breathing exercise with y'all. It's called three-part breathing. So you can do it anywhere, sitting down or laying wherever you are. And I want you to take your hands on your low belly, so below your belly button. And then you wanna breathe in through the nose, into the hands, so you wanna inflate that low belly, and then send that breath up through the rib cage so you feel the rib cage expand, and then feel the heart rising with that breath. And then as you exhale, the heart relaxes, the rib cage softens, and the low belly deflates. So again, one more time, just inhale, low belly, rib cage, heart, exhale, heart, rib cage, low belly. And you do that several times, in and out through the nose. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to message me or contact me. But again, this is really good for anxiety. It purifies the blood. It lowers your blood pressure. There's a whole lot of benefits to deep breathing. Um, our thanks to Kema and uh, Greg. I know that your daughter is ready for school. I'm sure she doesn't need this exercise, but hey, just in case, it's there for her. No, but, but, but me and her mom do. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. We certainly need it.